back or welcome to my channel if you've never been here before my name is Leslie and today I'd like to review the catcher in the rye by JD Salinger and when I told people that I was gonna read this book this month most everyone's reactions were to just ask me why I would willingly do this to myself saying that this book was awful well, I found out that they weren't lying. This book was not for me, but in one of my previous videos, I announced that I wanted to do a new series where I find, read, and review books that have previously been banned, and I wanted to know why they were banned. Well, this should have been banned because it was freaking awful, but that's not the reason why, so let's get into it. So I guess most people had to read this book back in high school or even for college and I just squeezed by. I didn't even know what it was about and I willingly put myself through this torture but perhaps there are people out there that still don't know what it's about. And so this is the story of and told by a boy named Holden Coalfield. He's a rebellious teenager who may also have a little bit of psychological issues and he tells us about his three days he spent in New York after being kicked out of his third school. He is a typical conflicted teenager with manic depressive tendencies who just doesn't know where he belongs in this world. He constantly and rather harshly judges the people that surround him by calling them phonies when in reality he's just a very lonely and introverted boy. I feel that the main topic of this book is Holden's disgust with human behavior and social standards. I feel like there are two types of people that have read this book. The first type are the ones who enjoyed it because they were able to connect with Holden's emotions and feelings and those who cannot relate like me and therefore did not enjoy this book whatsoever. I wanted to DNF this book by page 45 <laughs> so I from the get-go knew that I was in trouble with this. But I pushed through and I cringed through all of it, but I am glad to have read it because it is a classic and I, I do enjoy furthering my knowledge of classics. But yeah, right off the bat, I knew this was not a book for me. First of all, I don't, I curse like a sailor, but I don't actually enjoy reading it. I don't like other people being vulgar, if that makes sense. So the amount of profanities that were in this book, like every other word, really bothered me. The narration is written in a conversational form exactly how Holden would speak and it was just very unpleasant. He repeats himself over and over again and it was just so frustrating reading this. So I did my research and this book was first banned in Oklahoma in the 1960s because, not because it was completely uninteresting, but because it was blasphemous. The kid takes the Lord's name in vain like every other sentence and also is centered around very negative activities like there's prostitution, there's illegal drinking, premarital sex, and the main character belittles women all the time. Like if, and just not just women too, like if anybody disagrees with him, he really goes into explaining how stupid these people are. And again, the amount of cursing is completely insane. I completely hated everything about this book and I will never recommend anyone to read it. And honestly, if all my banned books are this bad, I may not go very far with this series because that was painful. So that was a very fast, short summary of this book. But there really isn't much to say about it. You either connected with the character or you didn't. And yeah, that was it. So I'm gonna catch you guys in my next video. Bye.